Hello friends, welcome to my channel Curiet. Today I am going to talk about top 5 quantum physics books which are really helpful if you want to study quantum computing. So here is the problem. A lot of traditional quantum mechanics textbooks, they start with history, they talk about Planck's solution to the black body radiation, Einstein's photoelectric effect and other bunch of old quantum theory experts and then they jump into the wave mechanics as developed by Erwin Schrodinger and they talk about, they jump into a lot of examples using wave mechanics, Schrodinger's equation, the wave mechanics formulation like free particle, particle in a box, harmonic oscillator, uncertainty principle and this kind of an approach, say for example a wave mechanics kind of approach where you start with continuous states and this is not really useful for quantum computing if, say if you take a course on quantum computing, say here is a quantum computing course from Cambridge University, the problem is they just jump into abstract mathematics. They say that you have state space, which is a complex vector with an inner product in the Hilbert space, and then they jump into uh, the Schrodinger's wave equation. Sorry, this is not the wave equation. The Schrodinger's equation, the general Schrodinger's equation, uh, using this in the bracket notation, and then about unitary evolution, uh, and then you jump into a bunch of measurement and things like that, entanglement and density and matrix formalism. And this is, this is extremely dry and you don't really get an intuition about what is happening. So if I show this picture, you'll understand. So a lot of quantum computing textbooks, they start with wave mechanics, um, sorry, quantum mechanics textbooks, they start with wave mechanics, and a lot of quantum computing textbooks, they jump into matrix mechanics, and that's not really intuitive. And you want something in between, right? You want to start with simple qubit systems, a, sp a spins or electro electron spins, or double slit interference, stern gerlach experiments, photon polarization, hydrogen energy spectra, max zender interferometer, things like simple systems, and then gradually build the formalism, right? This is what I'm talking about. Say you take this uh, book by say Feynman's lectures where he talks about first um, interference with the normal waves and, and then he goes into uh, interference with uh, electrons and he really explains you very intuitively why you need complex numbers to actually model this kind of phenomenon and then you can go with simple qubit systems like Max Zender interferometer where you can show that even with a single photon uh, you can show what is going on, how the, the strange quantum behavior of these photons, and then you also uh, you can also demonstrate the same thing using stern gerlach experiments uh, using electron spin, and these are really fantastic set of experiments where you start slow and then uh, you slowly build a formalism. So this is the kind of books we really need for quantum computing. So here are the top five books in my opinion. The number one, the best book in my opinion is the book Quantum Mechanics, the, which is part of the Theoretical Minimum series by Professor Leonard Susskind of Stanford University. The fantastic thing about this book is it's beautiful, it's just $13 on Amazon Prime, and then you have this uh, fantastic uh, website, the Theoretical Minimum, where Professor Susskind has a lot of YouTube videos from various courses in classical mechanics, quantum mechanics, uh, relativity, cosmology, statistical mechanics, advanced, and you have courses on advanced quantum mechanics. So if you are a physics enthusiast, and these courses are actually designed for amateur or part-time physicists, so that is the best thing, and, they, and you have the video lectures, so you go to quantum mechanics, and then you can open the YouTube playlist, uh, you, can, you can listen to all these lectures while reading the book. So. And he goes really slow. He really starts with simple single qubit systems like the spin, right? Simple cubic single qubit systems. And then he gets into slowly the mathematical formalism of brass and cats and why you need these complex vector uh, spaces. And then slowly he goes into the time evolution, uh, the Schrodinger's equation, entanglement, and all more advanced topics. And then he goes into the final, he goes into the classical uh, Schrodinger wave mechanics kind of approach in the end. But this, he goes really, starts really slow, and this is the best book, in my opinion, for quantum com computing. And the next book, number two book, is uh, The First Introduction to Quantum Physics by Professor Peter Koch. And this book is a really 
a companion for Professor Susskind's book. Uh, the fantastic thing about this book is it has color pictures. It starts really slow. It has, as you can see, as we, let's see what it has. It starts really slow and it goes, uh, it starts simple. It has simple experiments. It starts with simple um, qubit experiments like uh, photon polarization, um, max sender interferometer. Here you think he's showing this max sender interferometer and stem galactic experiments. And he has a lot of color pictures in this thing. And he shows, uh, see here, he's showing how this experiment works. And it just starts really slow same like Professor Susskind's book. But the reason I gave this number two is A, it's expensive, it's, and B, you don't have video lectures for this book. It's about $45, and I got it for about $25. I don't know why it's showing $47. But this is a fantastic book. This is number two. And the number three is the book recommended by Professor Susskind himself. This is Quantum Physics, A Fundamental Approach to Modern Physics by Professor John Townsend. This is a really, this is a fantastic book. And if you want to follow, uh, if you can use this book for Professor Susskind's more advanced courses uh, on his theoretical minimum website, and it's expensive, it's about $80. The next book which is recommended by Professor Koch is Quantum, Phys Quantum Processes, Systems and Information, and this book is about $70. Um, and the really good thing about this book is it, it explains things from a quantum computing and quantum information point of view. So it's really, that, that is the good thing about this book, but I think it's kind of an expensive book and it also goes deeper into some of the topics which are of interest to quantum computing folks. So I really like this book. So I'll buy this book in future. I have not read this book entirely, but I have skimmed through this book and it's really good. I like it. Um, then the number five, the last book, is Quantum Mechanics a Paradigms Approach. It's about $55. I really love this book and I skimmed through all the pages in this book. And the fantastic thing about this book is it's, it starts with spin first or as qubits first approach with stem Galak experiments. And it starts really slow like Professor Susskind's book. And the first one third of the book is, is just like, it is similar to Professor Susskind's book. And then it goes into really advanced topics. Uh, so it is like two books in one, um, volume. It's like you have a half of the book is like undergraduate course in f quantum physics. The next is like a quant is a, a graduate level course in uh, quantum physics. It's and it's also like fifty five dollars. So I really love this book. I like this book. So these are the top five books in my opinion. So this is number one is professor is the book by Professor Suskin. Number two is by Professor Koch, and number three is by Professor Townsend. The number f and Number four is by uh, Professor Shoemaker and Westmoreland, Quantum Processes, Systems and Information. And number five is Quantum Mechanics, a Paradigms Approach. So with this approach, what happens is you get an intuitive understanding of these basic uh, single qubit experiments like stem galak uh, double slit interference, photon polarization, hydrogen energy spectra, max zender interferometer, and then you can go into ad more advanced topics like composite systems, entanglement, density matrix, formalism, uncertainty principle, continuous states, and the classic Schrodinger's equation, uh, which is which is generally shown in a lot of books with a wave mechanics approach. So thanks for watching my video. And if you have any good suggestions about books which you really like, which you think are really useful for quantum computing, please uh, provide your suggestions as comments to this video. Thank you very much.